there we go. Yeah, thanks again for all your support for our uh, car ministry trip. Uh, we had an awesome trip and actually got done a day early with uh, three mechanics most of the time. And uh, Fran and Linda doing checks on the vehicles and cooking. And uh, But it's, it's always just such an awesome trip see, just seeing what God does. Uh, I'll just tell you about a couple of... Uh, a couple of the, the people that we worked on their vehicles. One one of the ladies' names is uh, Edna Trigg. Uh, she served her whole life uh, with the uh, New Tribes Mission, and uh, she's still translating the gospel in the tribal languages. She's over 90 years old, and we Cindy and I drop off the cars sometimes to the people. Cindy jumps in a golf cart, and we run to their house and <laughs> drop off their cars, and uh, you know she'll bring me back. But anyway, Ed, Edna says, well, come, come on in just a minute. I said, okay. We stopped, stopped in for a minute, and uh, about an hour later, she was still telling us stories, what God is doing, and how she's still translating the gospel with another person. She told us she doesn't even hardly even leave her home. She goes, I don't even want to take the chance of getting sick. This uh, translating the gospel is so important to me. Uh, I'm not letting anything get in the way and she's in her 90s. I'm just so impressed. It's just such an awesome blessing for us just to get to go. And another lady's name was Wanda Harmon, and uh, her car is a Toyota uh, Corolla, I think, over 20 years old, and I looked at it, and the transmission was just barely working at all, and she needed a lot of work on it. She needed, you know, like a the timing belt, water pump, the whole thing changed out and a bunch of other stuff. I said, well, we, we really can't do any of this work on it unless I get this transmission working right. And uh, I said, you need to pray. Pray for us to know what to do. Otherwise, we won't, won't be able to fix this car at all. And uh, she prayed, and many of you guys prayed. And amazingly, uh, I shouldn't be surprised at all. God showed us what to do with this transmission. We got it all fixed. I'm just going to read a quick note that she wrote. We get a, so many cool notes from these people, how they really appreciate what all you guys do and your support uh, to the, for this ministry. It says, thank you so much for working on my car. It runs like it's brand new. I guess this car is going to be my retirement car. I can't believe how smoothly it rides. Thank you for not giving up on it. Um. I just wanted to share on this trip, I really felt if I had to put it into a word, it was connectedness. Where we were serving former missionaries, retired missionaries, and some missionaries even here in the States, there was a connectedness in the fact that we were still serving the same God and the same Jesus, and we still had the same mission. And I came away so much more blessed than all of my giving and all that I did there. And in all the years that I had helped, I was always at the guest house and in that um, maintenance building. Um, but this time I got to be in the homes in the retirement center. And we, we actually stayed in a home in that community. And it was such a blessing to talk to those people. You know, there are 60, 70, 80 year old um, people that had shared on the mission field and all the stories they shared about how God, what God, how God moved and all the people that they had shared God's love with them. And it was just a real, a special, different time for me. It was a real blessing. 